The three-year-old farm for the Sesame Safari Sita National Guidance, Peter Ogwang, is already bearing fruits. There's a distance you give it. With about 170 cows and 400 goats, Minister Ogwang says he started small with an intention of fighting poverty among women and youth, many of whom have succeeded. Because every village, my program was to, to give 10 goats for 10 women, mm. which also give to another 10. Mm. So I had in a total number of about 20 women per village, which have already benefited from this program to support them. And there are areas which I can confirm to you. Women have already bought cows out of this project. Out of the 10 goods. Out of the 10 goods we gave them. Because once you, it produces, you give out to another woman. So so those are the Ngadiam County MP says his love for commercial farming grew stronger when he visited President Museveni's farm in Kisozi, after which he bought two square miles of land to follow suit. When I came back from Kisozi, the first thing I thought of buying was land, because I was a youth MP, and I bought this land here. At least I have land here, which is reasonable big. I have almost, between me and you, I only have almost here, which I've already fenced about two square miles. But outside that, I have over five, six, seven square miles of land. On well, the same piece of land is a system to solve water challenges in the dry season, established with the help of the Minister of Water and Environment. Despite losing 170 cows last year due to contaminated water, Ogwang says he's able to get 50 liters of milk per day. But my plan was to concentrate more on beef. However, there's more money on milk. For instance, here. Yeah, as of today, my people tell me I get about 50 liters of milk per mm. day. Per day. So that is money which now is helping me to manage the farm and pay, so and pay the workers. But now you can imagine, and here a little of milk here is 1,200. So that is almost an assured 1,000, one, one, about 50,000 shillings mm. per day. Mm. So you can now imagine if I increase the total number of cows which are able to give me milk, I can make more money. So I want to confirm we have formed an association as Katakui Local Breeders Association, which entirely is going to help us improve on our breed, both of the goats and the, and the cows. In simple mathematics, Minister Guang says in the near future, he will be able to earn 1.5 billion shillings per year from beef and millions from selling goats. The, goat, the cheapest I would sell a goat is 200,000. Yeah. So if you imagine how so far, you remove 2,000 minus 400, out of 1,000, 1,400, about 1,700 goods. You multiply by 200,000. How much money is that? That's a lot of money. It's come to, money. That come to cows. Mm. My plan now of cows is entirely, I want to stock here to have about a thousand cows. Mm. A thousand cows once I put in this land, I have water, I have land, I have pasture. I can guarantee you, I can be making almost uh, I honestly, I'll be can afford to sell about 300 cows per year. Per year. 300 cows, if you put an estimate of about two, 2 million. The least, but the breed I have here, you if they were here, if you could look at the, the small calves, calves I have, I can guarantee you, once they grow, the least they can fetch is about 7 million. Because it's a boran, mixed over and call and boran. So that is good money for me. Now if you sell by 300 a year, how much is that? 300 times uh, an estimate of 5 million. That, is, that gives you almost about 1.5 billion mm. in a year. So this is the money, this is the message the president is telling us as a country to emulate. So I want really to call upon all my colleagues. We must be role models ourselves. While inspecting ICT projects and installations in West Nile, another new Uganda recently, Minister Guang spared time to borrow a few tips from the presidential demonstration farm in Baradege Arua district as he plans to expand his farm. I need to put up oranges. I'm going to put here oranges and cashew nuts. In front there I planted some eucalyptus, but of course because of the people burn grass, that's one challenge which is there. But, like again what I saw there is poultry. Hmm. Here also I'm going to put up a poultry unit here. And I want to confirm beginning of May, I'll be able to come and concentrate and do that. I am going to make some fish ponds because this is also mm -hmm. part of the advice. Okay. I want to confirm, confirm I am going to replicate at model farm there. As he continues to fight household poverty among the people of Katakui, the city minister 
urges fellow leaders to plan for retirement using the little savings to set up similar initiatives. Actually, we political leaders were given a contract of 60 months. So there are two things which we must do. Number one, we must save. Number two, when we're in office, how do we plan to have projects which, be, which plan, which give us money? That's why now for me, this is already a plan for retirement. Because when I, all I need now is to increase on my yields, to increase on my total numbers, both the courts and the cows. So for my colleagues, the president has been emphasizing and has been talking, talking, and giving information to the country on what needs to be done. So I really want to call upon, first of all, us to begin by having one concept, personal saving. Number two, look at the enterprises which make money for us, both when you're in office and when you've left office. That will help us to do better. The other one, of course, that deployment is not bad. It's all a prerogative depending on what the head of state says. I would encourage him to deploy them. But for me, I want to encourage all of us now, both who have been re-elected, that we must begin to plan to save. Even me, what I've done here is out of my little savings I've been making is what makes me buy land, throw in something here. Ogwang, who boasts of being the best commercial farmer in Teso region, reminds the president to fulfill his pledge of 100 cows. He promised him to increase his stock. In Teso here, I might say I might be the best. I don't think there's anyone among his, my colleagues who are such a farm of both cows and goats. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. And of course I want to encourage them. Let them feel free. They can come and see. For me now I'm challenged. I want to, to restock. Because the president still has a pledge he gave me. If he gave me my cows, because for me now what I need is a stock. How, many, first, how many are there? He pledged me 100 cows. So for me now all I want is is the stock. Infrastructure is ready. Everything is ready. Minister Gwang says the people for Colonial sub county in Katakui are also waiting on the president to put up a demonstration farm in the sub county to steer youth into commercial farming as a reward for giving him the highest number of votes in the entire Teso sub region during the 2016 elections. It was their request in June 2019 when President Museveni camped in the region on wealth creation campaign. Discussing this also, the best polling station which voted him most. In 2016, was a rock. He came here. He promised to set up a model farm like what is in Arua. That is it. I look. I want really to see that dream come true for the people of this area because it will give us encouragement. And by the way, I want to say this for my community. Our community here is a hardworking community. As of today, most of my neighbors here, there's no family here which doesn't have a cow. So the only thing now which we need to improve on is the breed. The other one is to for the fulfillment of the compensation for the cows we lost to our uncles. The rest. Bernard Higa, UBC News, Katakui.